Hi, I'm Alexandria from alexandriabarker.com. And I'm just about to um, do some channeling. So I invite you to get comfortable and listen along with me. I'm just gonna close my eyes and get centered. I've already invited my angels in. Mm, and it is December 21st. And I'm open to receive angels. What do you have for me today? Do you have a message for me today? It's nearly Christmas. So perhaps a Christmassy message. Welcome, 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 spirit. Yes, we are here with you in this beautiful, glorious day. And we are so happy you took the time to relax and invite us in and to open up so that we could flow through you with our message unimpeded. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful time of year as you edge closer and closer to that special holiday, the magic of Christmas. A time when people put aside their cares and their worries, put down any weapons if there is wartime. A time for a truce, a time for remembering all the good there is in the world. A time of remembering all that you are and all that you came here to be. If you are in this space and time, you are here with great purpose. You don't no doubt feel this purpose or you feel the urgings to complete something you may not know what. You feel like there's something you're here to do and there is. And your purpose? is to enjoy this life as much as possible. Enjoy this life with every fiber of your being, with every cell in your body. If that feels too simple, too pat, just try it. How many minutes can you go without dipping into the negative? Can you go a whole day without dwelling on that which you do not want to create? Can you go a whole day without forecasting into your future and being concerned about what you might receive may be lurking there? Can you go a whole day without being critical of yourself, without being judgmental of others? So you see, it is not quite as simple as it may seem but certainly attainable. Begin, beloved, by setting the intention that you will be all you can be today, that you will radiate out as much love as possible all around the world. And this is not limited to the people you find so easy to love. The challenge and part of the training of being an ascended master at this juncture in space and time here on this beautiful, beautiful planet is to send that love to those you don't find so lovable. Perhaps those who are high in office and making decisions for all of you, decisions you may or may not align with, send your love there as well. Send your love into those incarcerated in the prisons. Maybe you don't agree with their life choices. They are still God. You are all God. Every one of you. A little piece of God. So, you see now it is not as simple as it may seem. So this is something you may want to exercise. Bring your awareness to the present moment as often as you can and do a check-in. How am I feeling right now? Am I angry at a driver? Am I angry at a checkout person because the line isn't proceeding as quickly as I would like? 
Am I angry at the world in general? Am I angry at laws that I don't agree with or mandates that I don't agree with? Or can I settle into my heart and be at peace and recognize that this peace that I'm feeling in this present moment is my contribution to the world and this is where my power lies. I can choose to be upset. I can choose to be distressed. I can choose to be dissatisfied for whatever reason. Or I can choose to rise above. I can choose to focus on the light. I can choose to focus on the love. I can choose to breathe into my heart and in and out through my heart and feeling that love radiating out. This is something anyone can do. All of you can do and we invite all of you to do this, to breathe into your heart. Settle into that space and know that all is well. All is happening for you and not to you. And yes, we know the challenges you are facing, individually and collectively. We know this. This does not alter the fact that you are creating your reality. There are still many who thrive, even in a pandemic. Those who find love even during a pandemic those who mend family rifts. So, to exercise this divine will, this gift of the gods, you can make a choice now to be happy and fulfilled. That beautiful word, fulfilled. Or you can manifest that which will not bring you what you want. Anger, worry, fears will not reap the rewards that you were looking for, will not bring you happiness and peace. So you may certainly create your hell on earth, as many of you are currently living in right now or create the heaven on earth is equally attainable. It's actually easier because it's easier to fill yourself up with love and light than it is to resist it. So tuning in with yourself, checking in, how do I feel right now and right now? And right now, setting aside times to do this during your day, meal times is a natural when you're taking a break from your routine, you're taking a break from your scheduled activities, you're pausing to nourish and replenish. That is a natural time and a beautiful time to express gratitude for the very food you're about to ingest which is also supercharging it so it can bring you all the nutrients and every cell in your body can be open to receiving all the nutrients you're about to eat when you infuse it with love and light and gratitude. And gratitude for however that food came to be sitting in front of you. Gratitude perhaps for to a waitress and a chef or to your own self for having prepared it for the farmers who grew it, for perhaps the animals that you are about to be nurtured by, sending some love out to them as well. Being grateful to the vegetables, the bread. Being grateful for everything in your life. You have this amazing gift of technology. And 
This can also reflect where you're at in your life if it is being problematic for you. How is that mirroring back to you? What you are sending out? Everything is a mirror, beloved. Everything. It's all you. It's all consciousness. You can connect with everything. Everything. So this is perhaps the most important message we have for you today. Is to be aware of this. This consciousness. This is not a dead rock that you live upon. This is a living, breathing organism. And everything on it is alive. It has its own consciousness. Pick up a rock. Sit with it a bit. Ask it to tell you its story. Because it has one. The water has a consciousness. Is it happy water? Is it water that is appreciated and blessed? Bring in your attention. It's like waving your magic wand to empower everything. Whether you're ingesting it, putting it on your body, whether it is a vehicle that is taking you where you want to go, bless it and love it, and you will receive its best in return. So yes, it is Christmas. It is time to focus on these powerful feelings of peace and love and joy. These things you sing about. Joy to the world. It is possible. Send that love out. So it may be breathed in all around the world. And just hold the intention and let us, let us speak that beautiful metta meditation. May all beings be safe. May all beings be well. May everyone be peaceful. May everyone be joyful. May all beings thrive and prosper. Hold this in your heart. And remembering it all starts with you. So sending that love to yourself, breathing it into your own heart space. Breathe it in and out. Let it spiral in and out with the knot at your heart center. Breathing love out. Breathing love back in and through again. This is important every day. But it is a natural time right now when so many are celebrating the coming together, the, the love, the tradition. What better time to focus on love and hold the intention that things get better and better and better, remembering it is all happening for you and not to you. As we breathe. Mm, do you feel the peace? This is a beautiful space to be in. I invite you to come back to this, this beautiful place where all is well, where love is all there is. For indeed, love is all there is.